CJ coming here for a few minutes. I want to um, talk about something that uh, reading someone's post made me think about the other day. And that is fat shaming. Um, I didn't understand. A, a young lady made a post and then someone came and made a comment. And I did not, um, I, I didn't understand the comment. I don't see where she came to the conclusion she did from the saddest. But anyway, um, the original, the poster said that she um, was still working on her body, still working on her waistline, so to speak. I'm not going to give the exact post because, you know, I'm not just trying to put the post out there like like that <laughs> but anyway so she basically just said that she was working on herself okay um her physical body and so the uh commenter said that you know for a person who has um uh, high self-esteem her post would be great but for a person who had low self-esteem then um, her post could be considered fat shaming. And so then a little um, debate went on later about it. But um, I just had a question um, because I didn't understand how that was fat shaming by the um, um, lady who made the post by saying that she was still going to be working on her body. My view of fat shaming is something totally different. It's about actually trying to shame people for being um, overweight or what the person who's trying the, the shamer uh, considers overweight I never I just didn't understand how self-improvement can be considered fat shaming but you know the word shaming can be put on so many things right but before I get that before I get all off track as I do a lot of times do you think um, it's fat shaming when you are talking about your your personal goals. I don't. If you're if I'm talking about how I want my body to look, if I want to shrink my waistline, if I want to shrink excess fatty tissue, if I want to tone my thighs or my butt, if I don't want any rolls, you know, on my back, I just consider that self improvement. Uh, you know, I don't understand how people get this this thing of just because you want your body to look a certain way, excuse me, <clears throat> just because you want your body to look a certain way or, or that you don't want ex excess fat rolls or fatty tissue, that you don't want um, the excess pounds on your body. I don't understand how people see that as a way of... Um, of you not loving yourself I see so much that people equate want, I, I just don't see it's not equate it's it's just I don't know how to put it it's kind of like y'all so I'm trying to get together plus I'm in a time crunch here but people uh, assume just because you want to better your physical appearance that you don't love yourself you can love yourself without loving all the excess. And then, do you know, skinny does not equate to being healthy. It does not. But neither does being overweight. Just because you're overweight doesn't mean you're healthy. It doesn't mean that you're unhealthy. Okay? So, people always get all of that kind of mixed up and confused. You can be heavier than... The next person, fine. And that could be fine for you, and you could be a very healthy person. You can have no high blood pressure. You can have not have diabetes. You can not have high cholesterol. You can be, you know, energetic and be, you know, a, a healthier size. I know some people like to say uh, BBW, um, just all the terms. I don't even try. I try not to just stay away from all the terms. I just say, you know, a, a heavier person. Then you could be a skinny mini and be really, really ill. I was a skinny mini and I was very, very, very ill at one time. Okay? And then I have been uh, overweight and had excess fatty tissue, a lot of excess fatty tissue around my waistline. And 
I was still ill. So you have to find that balance. So now I have a balance. Okay, I'm not a skinny mini and I'm not overweight. And guess what? Now I'm not um, ill. Now my, my immune system is much better. So I wish people would stop trying to equate a skinny person as a healthy person, an overweight person as an unhealthy person. People are entitled to have their own opinions. I know that. I'm just saying whenever you're just jumping in somebody else's comment and just getting things all twisted, all wrong, you know, a little research would not, would, would not hurt at all, you know. But um, I just saw that, and I'm thinking, how is it fat shaming when she's talking about, first of all, her, her body? Her body. She didn't say anything about anyone else's body. She was talking about her body. The other thing is, for instance, me, I have this um, thing where I'm talking about the 3B belly um, challenge, okay? And just stands for um, the Bs, the 3, B stands for three types of bellies, which since then I've seen several... I think five, but I, I came up with three, but a lot of women that I've spoken to over the years and worked with over the years, their couple of priorities they had was uh, getting rid of, rid of belly fat, shrinking the waistline, and digestive issues. So that was a mix of physical appearance and health, and they're very related. I don't that that's not fat shaming just because I personally maybe put out something or a post or invite someone to join a challenge and ask do you you want to shrink your waistline or for those of you who are interested in shrinking your waistline or for those of you who are interested in shrinking your waistline and gaining more energy or just feeling better you know in um have you know uh, enhancing your mood that I'm there I, I don't even like the word fat. So, um, you know, to use as an adjective, I did an entire post or a video about how fat, um, I, I only, uh, like to use the word fat when I'm speaking of it as a substance because that's what it is. But some people are like, no, 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 I'm fat. It's just fat. But that's them. That's their choice to use that word. I just don't use it. So by me offering people solutions to maybe get to get rid of the fact that they don't want it's not fat shaming by me sharing my before and after photos and just saying hey would you like to see or join me you know in doing this or finding out more about what I did and seeing if you know you would like to do it that's not fat shaming so I wish people would get this 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 description of fat shaming right yes there are fat shamers out there there are people who do do that and it's it's just crazy and it it irks me to no end it really does but talking about your own health and wellness your own goals um you're reaching out to others to see in the right way to see if they want to do the same thing is not fat shaming in my opinion i'm talking about my opinion so and you know people like to put the word i think i started out this video i think saying talking about shaming you know